So this is the blue crime light and I'm going to attach it to the battery power by the battery adapter which simply slots into the base of the light. We've got a nice handheld device. We have a piece of evidence here in the usual packaging, the tamper evident bag. But if I open this out, we can see um, blood stains quite easily, but we can't see any other body fluids. So with the camera filter on, we can quite easily see what I can see with the blue lights and my goggles. Very clear outline of stains and also the white from the soap powder. giving a background speckling appearance. Here we have the H2S infrared. The 16 LEDs, the indication that it's infrared is this dark red colour. And on the side of the head, 800 to 900 nanometers infrared. Camera slips onto the H2S head and then we attach the H2S with the clip to the tough pad which enables us to visualize the infrared. As an alternative to the battery pack situated underneath the H2S we can use the battery attached to an adapter with a lead that can plug into the H2S battery is attached to the crime light by the cable and placed in the pouch. This can be held at the waist or can go over the shoulder for ease of carrying. So as we can see in the white light and this dark polo shirt, no evidence is visible. Here we have the polo shirt, the lower hem, uh, the right seam, and we can see the blood absorbing in a nice round spot and the uh, black polo shirt reflecting the infrared and appearing white. 